From Interior Alaska's most trusted news source, this is your morning news update with J.R. Lewis. Good morning and thanks for joining us. It's Wednesday, September 16th, 2015. In the news, an initiative group is gathering signatures in an attempt to link voter registration to Alaska Permanent Fund dividend applications. AP reports the group PFD Voter Registration is trying to get a question on the ballot asking voters if they'd like registration to come automatically when they apply for their PFD. The initiative would also update home address information for those already registered to vote. The group needs to get 28,500 signatures before the 2016 legislative session starts in January. Guilty pleas for a man accused of attempting to set a home on fire. Kenneth Baxter pleaded guilty to reduce charges of misdemeanor assault and violating conditions of release on Monday. Baxter was originally arrested after authorities say he poured gasoline on a residence and threatened an occupant with a metal pipe. He reportedly locked himself inside the residence and refused to speak to responding officers. Baxter will serve a total of 490 days in jail. And the Alaska Department of Labor and Workforce Development is being awarded a federal grant to help train health care workers throughout Alaska. $2.9 million will be used to expand existing apprenticeship programs at medical facilities and universities and also fund new projects. Officials say health care organizations throughout the interior will be notified of opportunities starting earlier next, or early next year, that is. Director of Employment and Training Services Mike Andrews says the federal money comes at a time when the demand for health care workers is growing rapidly. A quick look at the Fairbanks weather to wrap up. Mixed showers in the morning today, rain showers in the afternoon, highs in the upper 40s. Tonight, cloudy with scattered rain and snow showers, lows in the upper 30s. Tomorrow, cloudy with scattered rain showers and highs in the upper 40s. Extended forecast, chance of showers through Saturday, highs mid 40s, lows 30 to 35, and the Aurora forecast is up to active. That's all we have for right now. I'm glad you could join us. Don't forget, sign up for breaking news text alerts by texting the word breaking to 33733. From all of us here at News Center 11, I'm J.R. Lewis.